Hey guys, today we're going to be learning about clauses. So a clause is a group of words that does, does contain a subject and a predicate. There are independent and subordinate clauses. An independent clause has a subject and a verb and can stand by itself as a complete sentence. An example is, the reporter shouted. A subordinate clause has a subject and a verb but cannot stand by itself as a complete sentence. An example is, when the phone rang. Subordinating clauses do not express a complete thought because they usually begin with a subordinating conjunction. Some subordinating conjunctions are such as, as if, since, when, although, because, and while. And as you can see in the example above, when the phone rang, it starts with one of those subordinating clauses, when. An adjective clause is a subordinate clause that modifies a noun or a pronoun. It answers the questions what kind and which one. Most adjective clauses begin with the words that, who, whom, and whose. Sometimes adjective clauses begin with an adverb such as since, when, or where. An example is the stroller, which was broken, carried the child through the park. So it answers the question which stroller. An adverb clause is a subordinate clause that modifies a verb, an adjective, or an adverb. Adverbs can answer any of the following questions. Where, when, in what way, to what extent, under what conditions, and why. Adverb clauses begin with subordinating conjunctions. The subordinating conjunction will either be at the beginning, when an adverb clause begins a sentence, or in the middle, where it connects the independent clause with the subordinate clause. Common subordinating conjunctions are listed on this page. An example of an adverb clause modifying a verb is put the dishes in the cabinet unless there is no room. Where do you put the dishes? In the cabinet. An example of an adverb clause modifying an adjective is I am sad because I could not go to the zoo today. Why are you sad? Because you couldn't go to the zoo. An example of an adverb clause modifying an adverb is he knows less than the other doctors do. And this answers the question more or to what extent. A simple sentence consists of a single independent clause. Some are short and some are long. It contains one subject and one verb. It may also contain adjectives, adverbs, complements, and phrases in different combinations. Some simple sentences have a compound subject, compound verb, or both. Some examples of one subject and one verb are the engine broke. The subject is engine and the verb is broke. A compound subject example is lions and tigers ran through the jungle. The subject is lions and tigers and the verb is ran. An example of a compound verb is my brother walks and runs around the track. The subject is brother and the verb is walks and runs. An example of compound subjects and verbs are Mickey and Minnie skipped and sang around their yard. The subjects are Mickey and Minnie and the verbs are skipped and sang. A compound sentence consists of two or more independent clauses. The independent clauses are usually joined by a comma and one of the coordinating conjunctions and, but, for, nor, so, or, yet. Yeah. Sometimes a semicolon is used to join independent clauses. An example is my friend tried to speak Spanish and I tried to speak English. So in the first independent clause, the subject is friend, the verb is tried, and the coordinating conjunction is and. In the second independent clause, the subject is I and the verb is tried. A complex sentence consists of one independent clause and one or more subordinate clauses. The independent clause and the subordinate clause must have their own subjects and verbs. The ones in the independent clauses are called the subject of the sentence and the main verb. An example is, when the rain stopped, we continued to drive. So we have rain as the subject, stopped as the verb, we as the subject, and continued as the verb. The first half of the sentence is the subordinate clause, and after the comma is the main clause. A compound complex sentence contains of the elements of both a compound and a complex sentence. It consists of two 
or more independent clauses and one or more subordinate clauses. An example is, as he was packing for his trip, Eric forgot to take his laptop, but he remembered his headphones. The first section of the sentence is subordinate, the middle section in between the two commas is independent, and the last section after the last comma is independent. And that's all in clauses.